Hey, welcome to my channel. My name is Paula and on this platform we discuss about designer fashion, luxury and lifestyle, but in a more practical and sensible way every Monday and Thursday. In my previous video, I addressed the whole situation in Ukraine and how I feel about it and why I've made the decision to keep filming. So I will definitely not repeat myself. Um, but I will just leave that video here because it is super important and I haven't forgotten about that. Um, when I'm filming this, it's still seven days from the attack to Ukraine or when it all started. When this video comes out, one can only hope that it is now already better even though it might not ever be better and things will never go back to the way it was. But yeah, I'm, I find myself starting to go back to that. So um, I will leave that video here in case um, you feel like reflecting on, on the situation more. This video is gonna be a, a Louis Vuitton unboxing. Um, I'm trying not to be a hypocrite here because I actually filmed a couple of weeks ago a video about the most recent Louis Vuitton price increase and how I will not, most likely, buy anything new from the boutique anymore because I've just, I've just met my limit on where their quality meets the price point. Um, so, yeah. This is pre-owned. So I'm not really eating my words here because I still enjoy Louis Vuitton, uh, especially the bags that they have produced before. This is a bag. So yeah, this is maybe I should actually just open it and then it's easier to talk with real names instead of calling it this. So it came with a dust bag and as you can see from the style of the dust bag it is a bit older model so it is not from the recent years and it is ta -da! the uh, Louis Vuitton Anna clutch in the vernie leather in the color Amarant. This is my first Verney leather piece in general from Louis Vuitton and I feel like during the recent years I have found myself being more and more drawn to the color Amarant by Louis Vuitton so this kind of lovely dark plum color maybe that could be the the way like very 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 dark burgundy where in some colors like in the shadows and, and more in darkness it resembles more like black and then in light it is clearly a plum or dark burgundy um so as i mentioned i have been more and more drawn to this color and i was thinking what would be the perfect piece to buy basically um because I want it to be practical in a way that it actually fits stuff in it. Um, but because of the, the texture and the color, I think it is in a way quite, quite festive. Um, so that's why I wasn't really looking at bigger bags, more like evening appropriate, but still it could be dressed down as well. And my, basically the options that I was looking at was obviously the Anna clutch, which we'll soon have a look, uh, a deeper look at. And then the uh, Rossmore bag uh, by Louis Vuitton. They are quite similar in my eyes. And then I was just kind of keeping my eyes open for different variants and the conditions, obviously, what they come in and all of that. And I stumbled across the Anna Clutch uh, in really, really good condition. Obviously, being Amarant, it will show fingerprints and, and dust and dirt and all of that. 
I'm aware of it, uh, but there are like some scratches on the bar here, but like nothing that I can't live with um, or I couldn't live with. And otherwise it looks really, really good. So shall we have a look a bit off of this bag? So this bar here, it has a magnet. So it just opens up like this and there are no other locks or anything so it's just a magnet that you can lift it comes with a short chain uh, and originally it used to come also with a vernie leather uh, longer strap this did not come with that anymore which most likely will explain the price point of this bag because uh, the price that I found, I'm not sure if that was like the most recent one when this was still sold, but it was 1,170 euros and I paid 400 euros for this. Um, so yeah, I was pretty much okay that it did not come with the uh, longer strap because that's, I can manage myself. Uh, either if I feel very, very bougie, I can buy a strap from Louis Vuitton or then use some strap that I already have, or then if I actually want this same colorway, I think I could look from like Etsy or something like that, if they would have a strap option that I could utilize with this bag. Um, so yeah, I was completely okay that it didn't come with the longer strap. Obviously that would have been preferred and ideal, but it didn't. So yeah. I'm okay, uh, but the shorter strap, this is not removable. So it is attached to this bag or the clutch, whether I want it or not. And I mean, if we think about the current like fashion, what is going on, having a chain hanging off the back when there is another strap, it's actually quite fashionable or trendy right now. And if I actually just want to have it like this, then I can. But also, I can always just tuck it into the bag and then have it as a clutch or then attach the longer strap and just wear it like that. So no harm done. Maybe easier to have a look at it. I don't know if it's any visibility because it's quite dark, but this is fabric lined. And inside there is the back wall or back side. It is leather and it has six credit card slots on it. So um, basically you wouldn't necessarily need a wallet with this. So kind of a wallet on the chain, maybe. Uh, then it has like a big open pocket as well as a zipper pocket. So I would like, I'm looking at this as a clutch bag, but it's quite roomy and spacious. Um, I'm going to make a separate video of actually kind of reviewing this and showing what fits and, and all of that. So I'm not going to spend time in this video for that, but this is like very, very spacious and roomy for a clutch or like wallet on a chain. Like I could say that. Um, so yeah, and then the date code, it took me a while to actually find it from here, but it is stamped on the back side leather on the um, bottom, for me this is left corner, so on this side, down down in the, uh, on the, on the side. And, and this is made in 2013, but if someone finds it from somewhere and is looking for the date code it was a bit of a struggle to actually get it visible uh because obviously everything is super dark in here <laughs> as well uh but yeah so it is down there um and what i think is cool about this bag is the chain itself so it is not um hoping that this is kind of visible it is not the same kind of chain that you see for instance in the pochette felici or or something i haven't at least seen this type of chain i think it is very beautiful um and kind of nice touch for the bag
I'm super, super, super excited and happy to add this um, to the bags that I currently have because, well, as I mentioned, this is my first Verney leather piece, uh, but at the same time, I don't have anything in this color and I love this, like dark burgundy plum. It's such a pretty color and I can't believe that I found this with that amazing price point. I did buy this from Vestier Collective from a professional seller uh, in Europe. So I basically still managed to negotiate a lower price point. That's not usually possible with professional sellers. They don't really prefer to negotiate, but I managed to get a bit off from the price. Um, and yeah, when you're buying from professional sellers on Vestiaire, there is always the possibility of returning an item without any actual reason. So that was also a safe bet for me to, to order this because as mentioned, this is, or I'm not even sure if the, I mentioned it already, but this is discontinued. Um, so this is no longer available <laughs> to buy from the boutique, which means that it's not available to go and look in the boutique either. Um, so yeah, I just kind of didn't feel like it is such a big risk when there was the possibility of returning, which is not always the case when buying pre-owned from private sellers, Vestier or other platforms. That was it for today. Um, hope you enjoyed it and see you in my next video. Bye.